There is a belief that spread throughout the United States for generations now that the U.S. was founded as a Christian nation. In fact, in 2018, one in two American Southerners agreed with that assessment. And in 2020, more than three in four Americans believe the nation is, or at least was, explicitly Christian. But is this historically accurate? If not, why has this claim become so popular, and how did it come about in the first place? To determine whether the U.S. was founded as a Christian nation, we need to go back to our nation's founding. According to the historical record, most of the founding fathers were actually deists, believing in a deity, but that said deity was uninvolved and didn't intervene in the world it had created. This belief largely emerged from the Enlightenment, the historical period in which the acceptance of science and reason over religion and faith became more widespread. One core facet of the Enlightenment was the advocacy of secularism the belief that religion should not influence the law. The Founding Fathers were heavily influenced by the Enlightenment and extended its secularist beliefs into the nation they each played a role in creating. In fact, Thomas Jefferson, during his time as governor of Virginia, proposed a bill for establishing religious freedom, stating, Our civil rights have no dependence on our religious opinions any more than our opinions in physics or geometry. Furthermore, the first constitutional amendment states that Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. Now, these quotations reflect the Founding Fathers' attitudes, but neither of them definitely refute the Christian origins of the United States, right? Unfortunately for adherents of this belief, there is an explicit refutation for it in the Treaty of Tripoli, an agreement between the U.S. and Tripoli to defend American merchants from the Barbary pirates. It states, The government of the United States of America is not in any sense founded on the Christian religion. The historical record is pretty clear. The U.S. was not founded as a Christian nation. So why do so many people think it was, and why has this belief influenced so much of American culture and government? Well, the answer is actually pretty simple the Cold War. In the 1950s, the U.S. was terrified of the Soviet Union and its nuclear capabilities to the point of extreme paranoia. Fearing a Soviet infiltration of the American populace, the U.S. government responded to the USSR's state atheism by adopting several measures to align the nation with theism, particularly Christian theism. Under President Eisenhower, In God We Trust replaced E Pluribus Unum as America's national motto, and soon the government dedicated to a separation between church and state soon advertised an exclusively Christian culture more than 150 years after its founding. This gave rise to the Christian rights efforts to portray the U.S. as explicitly Christian, and soon social conservative politicians like Pat Buchanan started seeping the myth into their speeches and policies. Despite their defiance to historical fact, these attempts to justify religious intolerance have been extremely successful, and that's not a good thing. Beyond misinforming the populace, these kinds of falsehoods can and have led to a government less tolerant of other religions and more open to denying people's right to choose their own belief systems and to practice their religion however they choose. It's important for people to know that America was not founded explicitly Christian not just because the contrary is objectively untrue, but because by making America Christian, non-Christians are made un-American, and nobody should face discrimination for peacefully practicing their faith. So stay historically literate, and do your part to make sure people are free to believe what they want. Thanks for watching.